My name is Sam. I'm from a small town. I spend my time working at a car shop. It's peaceful here, and that's my best friend, Ben. He's been good to me these past few years. You know, I've been noticing you've been having a lot of problems lately. I don't know, maybe if you talk about it, you'll feel a lot better. No, it's okay, I'll figure it out. Just leave me alone. I wanna work on it by myself. Why don't you talk about it? No, I, I don't want to. I'm okay. I'll figure it out myself. Can you grab me that wrench? Look, I gotta get going. I'll see you at the house. Yeah, whatever. Around this time, I was going out of my mind. But I didn't want to admit it. I didn't want any help. I saw things. Hallucinations. It was only a matter of time before my peaceful life in this small town was forever changed. And it was this very same day that everything went to shit. It was somewhere new. I'd never seen this place before, but I felt at home the moment I walked in. And the bartender was cute. Here you go, Katie. This one's in the house. Thank you. I like your Hey Sam, uh, were you planning to sleep at the house tonight? Uh, we're roommates, Ben. Of course I am. Uh, I don't think you should. I some ladies over tonight. We're gonna have a huge party. And what the hell, Ben? I thought we had your drinks. Uh, I don't know. Hello? I don't think I'll go either way. Ben? Ben? Hello? I forgot to mention, Ben can be a dick sometimes. I found myself on the bad end of a hangover the next day. What was once a bar booming with business suddenly became rickety, run down, and abandoned. It was only a matter of time until Ben came looking for me after all his boozing and womanizing. First, you don't show up last night. Well, that's weird. Then you call about some ghost bar. Well, that gets even weirder. I swear to God, Ben. Last night, that bar was up and running. That bar's been closed for 20 years, Sam. Never has been. Never will be. You know, if you wanted the drink, all you had to do was ask. You're scaring me. Believe me, if I could explain it, I would. <laughs> Monty, the town favorite and the local drug dealer. Ben borrowed a lot of money from him last year, and he's been harassing him ever since. 
Well, well, well. Somebody still has to remember to pay good old money as cash. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, like, I want to get you the password. Everything's fine, right? What the fuck? What's up, man? Man, bro! You know how this is going to be, huh? You know how you want to do this? Huh? I thought I told you fuckers this was private property! Get out of here! We're not over, man! We're not over! Well, everything seems A-OK -okay to me. So, nothing about the bar seems off to you? Because it all seemed very real to me. Simple auditory hallucinations caused by your anxiety. Might I suggest medication? No, no, I don't do medication. Well, if you still feel like you're having problems, please don't hesitate to make another appointment. All right. Thanks anyway, Doc. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's Sam. Oh, it's you. What do you want? You know, business as usual. I notice you uh, been having some uh... problems. Yeah, I'm not the only one. You know what? I, think I got something for that. Look, me and Ben already owe you a lot of money. No, Ben owes me a lot of money. Take it. I'll start a tab for you, man. All right? It sounded too good to be true. I knew I needed to stop these hallucinations somehow. What is that? I'm fixing a little something up for Monty. Next time it tries to come at me, BAM! <laughs> Gwen zombie apocalypse on his ass. That thing looks like third degree manslaughter or a life sentence in jail to me, man. Hey, he pulled a gun on me, okay? It's either him or me. Listen carefully. My clothes are in the Pit Boy's tailor shop around the corner. Now, in the watch pocket of the trousers, there's a piece of paper with a. <laughs> I took seemed like a solution to the problem. Or was I wrong? Hello? It's about time you answered. Been trying to call you for a couple hours. All those sedatives I gave you, idiot. What do you want? Oh, nothing much. I'm sure you noticed I paid you a visit. Let's cut to the chase. Ben right here is going to tell you where the money's at so you can bring it to me. Ben? Sam. Yeah, behind the couch. Black backpack.
listo de puta Things had escalated. I went from seeing a shrink to committing mass murder. And it looked like Ben killed Monty before I could. Ben didn't seem like himself. How could he? Monty. Ben! How did you, how did you get out? What, what'd you do to Monty? There's only one important question I need answered right now, Sam. Where's my money? I left it, it, it got lost when I went looking for you. I wasn't focused on the money, man! Wrong answer, man. I don't know what's going on anymore, man. All this shit! The money, Monty, the bar! There is no bar, Sam! Just pull the trigger. Let's go. Or I'm leaving your ass here. The moral of my story has nothing to do with my sanity. <laughs> The moral of this story is bad friends are better than no friends. Monty! 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 Monty!